Hey guys, today I want to talk hand care and the reason is because I feel like so much of the time we put all of the focus on our nail polish, you know, our nail color, our manicure, all of that. Sometimes we'll talk a little bit about our cuticles and focus on a little cuticle care, but I feel like a lot of times we end up forgetting about the rest of our hands and hand care is something I've always been big on because your hands are out all the time. Think about it. Like every time you step out of the house, it, it's kind of like your face, but usually for our face we focus on putting sunscreen on and whatnot when we go out. Outside. but sometimes for our hands they're just like out there just like bare naked all the time so it's definitely something that you want to kind of like you know care for because you can end up with a lot of premature aging on your hands and so you can end up with like you know sunspots and age spots and more lines and more wrinkles on your hands if you forget to care for them so i want to talk to you a little bit about that and how i care for my hands because i do get a lot of questions about that and it's something that has been kind of um i guess sort of passed down to me from like my mom was always big on taking care of her hands she always had really nice hands um, and then her mom and so they just kind of kept passing down you know their sort of techniques for uh hand care cuticle care nail care they, they had great nails um, so I was always kind of like looking at them when I was growing up and how they would care for their hands. So one of, well, actually a couple of our things that we would do would be um, like cocoa butter and coconut oil were two big ones that they would use on their hands a lot. And it really helped to keep them so smooth and so like almost like line free. Like they just had really young looking hands. And so that was something that I started using too. The cocoa butter, um, sometimes I would switch it up and do coconut oil instead, kind of just whatever I had in the house. But then I just discovered a new product while here in Australia, and it's a special product to Australia. A lot of Australians love this, and I have fallen in love with it too. And that is pawpaw ointment. And so what they do with this, it's almost like, well, it's like a combination of like oils and pawpaw, which is papaya. So the enzymes in papaya are really good for your skin. And so this is one of the products that I found, and this is Nude by Nature. There's all different brands though, and you can order this online too. So if you're not in Australia and you feel like you can't get it, don't worry, just look online. It's all over the place. But Nude by Nature came up with this one, and it's a mix of, let's see, it's got sunflower seed oil, coconut oil, shea butter. Shea butter is an another really awesome one for your hands, like really rich moisturizer. Um, I love using it in body butters, which I promise I have some really awesome, like luscious body butter, like do-it-yourself um, videos to do for you guys. Um, this has, let's see, it does have beeswax, so if you're vegan, um, you might want to check for another brand that doesn't have beeswax. Um, uh, it has jojoba esters, castor seed oil, um, carnauba wax, and papaya fruit extract. So that's the papa, and it's really like delicious smelling too. Um, that's something that I'm always into also is like the smell. Does it smell good? And I want it a natural fragrance too. This does have fragrance, but it's all natural. So it doesn't have any um, like chemical fragrance, um, but it just smells really oh, just so fresh and yummy. So it just, it's like nice to have on your hands. Okay, so aside from the smell being super delicious, um, it also just smooths your hands like amazingly. So I'm actually gonna put some on now because I haven't put any on yet this morning. And what I do is I just put like a little dab and what's nice is, you know, there are lots and lots of hand creams out there, but so much of the time they have like all kinds of, I don't know, just crazy ingredients in there that are just kind of unnecessary. That's why I always like to go with just like a really simple, natural, like just totally natural based um, hand care, uh, just because it's unnecessary to have all the chemicals rubbing onto your hands and whatnot, uh, just on your skin basically in general every single day. I just, um, uh, I don't know, I just, I prefer the all natural route when it comes to kind of daily skin care. And so I just rub that on and I do this at night too. So you can do it in the morning, at night, both. It kind of just depends on what you're into. And I mostly just apply it to the backs of my hands. So I don't really like get into my, you know, the palms of my hands. If you have like you know, any calluses or anything, then you can definitely do that. And it's amazing for like soothing calluses and softening that skin up again, kind of just bringing the life back to your skin. If you have like cracked heels, elbows, knees that are really dry, it's excellent for that too. And one of my other favorite things to use um, the pop-out ointment is on my lips. 
I love using it on my lips and I'll apply that at night and I'll also apply it first thing in the morning before I'll like put on anything else like instead of like a chapstick or something at night or in the morning I apply the pawpaw ointment I've been doing that for the past week and my lips are like unbelievably like so soft it's just it's awesome um, so like I said you can also use cocoa butter, coconut oil, natural oils are really good for that too, but it's just kind of nice and easy to just have it like all ready to go where you don't have to mix anything. It's just already in a tube, ready to go. I like the size of this because you can just throw it in your purse and you can take it with you. So it's ready to go whenever you need it. So I'm just kind of letting this soak in right now while I'm talking to you guys. So you'll probably be able to see some of it left on there. So just give it like, a, I don't know, about 10 minutes to kind of absorb. And when I leave it on overnight, it absorbs all the way in overnight. And I wake up with like the smoothest, softest, like even younger hands. Like it makes the lines just disappear. And I really like to just kind of, you know, really work it into like the knuckle area and around the cuticles too. If you have like dry cuticles that tend to kind of like pop up, you know, cuticles that just kind of like, you know, stick out there and they start getting dry around your nails, especially when we do our nails all the time. You know, you really got to take care of those cuticles. So I just work the pop up ointment right into the cuticles and then just let that sit on overnight. And it just does an amazing job of smoothing those down and just kind of overall bringing your hands back to a smoother, younger sort of appearance. So I'm just rubbing that in and just making sure that it's fully absorbed and it just makes your hands feel so soft and so Oh, so yummy smelling too. Um, so something else that I like to do is like, I'll take all my nail polish off, just like remove all your nail polish and let the pop-out ointment sit on your cuticles and your nails and your hands, like everywhere, just slather it on and leave it on overnight. And that moisture really can get into your nails too and help make those healthier. Um, instead of, you know, sometimes our nails get dried out from all the nail polish um, and stripping the nail polish off with, uh, you know, uh, the uh, nail polish remover can be a little harsh on our nails when you use it a lot. Um, so that's a great way to kind of uh, re-energize your nails as well. All right, so I will let you guys go. Um, that's just, I just want to do just a quick video kind of just reminding yeah, I guess just as a reminder for you guys to don't forget to take care of your hands too. We love our nails, we love doing our nails, but don't leave out your hands. Hands, cuticles, um, and of course, like I said, it's awesome for your elbows, knees, um, cracked heels, anything like that. And don't forget your lips. It's awesome for your lips. So this is kind of like a giant tube of like all-purpose body balm, like lip and body balm. All right, I will let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions or if you have a favorite product that you like to use on your hands, leave it in the comments below. I would love to hear it. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.